Hello dear developers and programmers, I hope you're doing great. You're watching episode 6 of the tutorial on sending form data from your website to Telegram. This is the final episode of this series. In the previous episode I built a Cloudflare worker for secure communication with the Telegram API and tested it for you. Now I intend to teach you how to deploy the project on Cloudflare pages. In fact I will also deploy the project frontend on Cloudflare so it connects to the backend worker. These are the worker files we deployed earlier which now only need a single update. First, I copy the web app source code, the telegram form, into a folder. We are going to deploy this folder to Cloudflare. Now I open two separate terminals, one for the worker project path and one for the Cloudflare pages project. I also create a wrangler.toml configuration file for the pages project which we need to modify slightly. I define a key named page build output dir. The value of this key must point to your project folder. If the value is empty it means the current directory where the config lives. I suggest creating a folder named public and putting your project files inside it before deploying, because this is more proper and increases security. The name key here also becomes the link, in fact your site URL on Cloudflare pages is derived from this name value. Okay, now the only thing we need to do is remove extra comments from app.js so the project is ready to deploy. There is no reason to keep those comments. In general we use the worker as the project backend and Cloudflare pages as the project frontend online. Alright, let's deploy our new project. I wrote a guide for deploying Cloudflare pages and I will make it available to you. Since everything is ready, just run the deploy command and the project will go live immediately. In previous episodes I explained these commands one by one. Just confirm the prompts Wrangler asks by pressing enter. One note, the pages commands are slightly different from the worker commands. For example, to deploy a pages site we run Wrangler pages deploy, while to deploy a worker we used Wrangler deploy. The project is deploying. Okay, the project deployed successfully. It automatically appears in the Cloudflare dashboard. Now we have a pages project and a worker project side by side. Here is our site along with the assigned link. If we send a message now we should get an error, because in our worker we define that it only accepts requests from local host. Yes. As we expected, our worker returns an error. We wrote the worker code to accept requests only from localhost via course. Now to allow requests from the site we just ran, we must update the worker with the site's address. I open the worker file to enter my new site address. Just copy this link and set it in the worker, then deploy the updated worker and that's it. Now the worker only accepts requests from our site URL. Time to deploy the worker. I update the worker by running Wrangler deploy. Now that the worker is deployed, I test the form again. Yes, as you can see the message was sent successfully. 
I'll run another test including an image. Okay, this is an example of uploading a photo along with text. So our form is fully ready to use. In short, using a Cloudflare worker and a Cloudflare page we launched a site that securely communicates with the Telegram API without exposing bot token and chat ID, and sends our form messages to a private chat via bot. Let me remind you one point about the bot token and chat ID in the worker settings. The environment variables we define for the worker are stored here encrypted and securely, and their values are not visible. In Cloudflare, when you set environment variables for a worker, simply reference their names in the worker code and their values are automatically loaded. As you can see, I did not declare these variables in the worker code, yet I used them. The reason is that they are registered as environment variables and Cloudflare injects their values automatically. This demonstrates how environment variables work in a worker as I explained. And with this architecture we designed, our app now transfers data securely. I explained this before and no further explanation is needed because the picture is clear. I hope you enjoyed watching episode 6. This was the final episode of the video series about working with the Telegram API and Telegram bots. I will provide the source code for all three versions I showed in episode 1 for download. If you found this tutorial useful please support me with a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as new episodes drop. Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful.